Whenever you make a long distance call, there is an amazing amount of computer technology working to make your call happen. In order to understand the computerized system used today, however, it is helpful to go back in time and look at how human being once routed long distance calls. So today we're going to see how a phone call works in just two minutes. Let's say Madhav switches on his phone to make a call. First thing his phone will do is search for control channel. Control channels are actually a special range of frequency where a mobile station and phone can communicate. If they can, it will make the SIM workable. And then it compares SIM ID with the program ID on phone and if both match, it is indeed able to make calls. There is a system called MTSO which does the rest of the work. MTSO tracks where your phone is by throwing closest towers network. MTSO knows in which cell you are when it wants to ring the phone. The MTSO looks in its database to find the cell in the which the phone is present. The MTSO then picks the frequency pair to take the call. Then it communicates with the mobile phone over the control channel to tell it what frequencies to use. Once the mobile phone and the tower switches on those frequencies, the call is connected. When the mobile phone moves toward the edge of the cell, the cell's base station will note that the signal strength is diminishing. At the same time, the base station in the cell in which the phone is moving will be able to see this phone's signal strength increasing. The two base stations coordinate themselves through the MTSO. At some point, the mobile phone gets a signal on a control channel and directs it to a change frequency. This will switch the phone to the new cell. It is more like a MTSO is a wizard who does find good spot to talk on, which is frequency and does all the hard work like tracking and pairing on its own. So until the next amazing video, keep hitting your blind spot.